In this video, we'll go through an example of doing a visualization on a time series problem. When we are trying to develop forecasts, what we want to do is we want to see the patterns in the data. An easy way to do that is to plot it on a line chart. So in this case, I'll just do it in Excel. So if I take my my sales of this department store, which we have over a series of quarters over several years, we can plot that in a line plot. So we'll insert a line chart. And what this shows us is that over time, there is a, an upward swing in sales in general. There's also a cyclic thing that's happening every year. We start off with a low value and then we have a swing upward in sales and then as we get into the fourth quarter we have a, 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 a quite a big step up. So there tends to be a small improvement in the, in the second quarter. In the third quarter there's more improvement and in the fourth quarter we have even a, a greater in, a increase in sales. So we can see these patterns. Now if we want to look at the overall trend we can add a trend line to this. So if I add a trend line and add the equations on the chart, then I can see the default here is linear and with this linear model our R squared is about 0.3. If I want to try some other examples of the trend line, I can click on this and I can try a polynomial and then what this does is the R squared jumps up from 0.3 to about 0.34 and so we're getting a better look at a, a better fit when we have the R, the uh, the x squared term in here. So think about what this is. We have an intercept in the model, sort of like a starting spot of the model, which is about 57,000. For every time we increase a quarter, we have this amount that has changed. And so we have, uh, in this case, this is actually a negative. So we have a drop and then we also have an x squared term up here so that every time we increase the quarter y then we square that quarter to multiply it by x squared. So we have a curvilinear component here that has an intercept, that has an x value in it, and that also has an x squared value in it. This is a good indication when you see, when you plot the linear chart and then you plot the polynomial with the second order chart, when the polynomial with the second order chart is actually has a stronger R squared, it's a pretty good clue that you're going to get better estimates by using a polynomial model. So we've got a general swinging uptrend and we have the cyclical things that we need to account for. Now 